Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Givelis and I'm here at Athletes Care Sports Medicine Center with registered physiotherapist Laura Longo who will be joining us to show us how to use this piece of equipment called the True Stretch. The True Stretch is a functional piece of equipment which was developed by Gary Gray which allows you to stretch in all planes of motion in a controlled environment. The True Stretch can be used to treat various conditions and also to prevent different types of injuries by maximizing flexibility through the use of different stretches as well as sport specific exercises that can be done in the cage. Laura, what are some injuries the True Stretch can help to prevent? Uh, the True Stretch is here to help you prevent injuries such as running injuries, um, sport specific injuries, postural injuries, and uh, low back injuries. It's designed as also an assessment tool so the patient or the client can come in here and as a therapist you can see a certain dysfunction that they have and accordingly come in to here and mobilize them or put them in a position and see what kind of dysfunction they have all the way up. Um, we're going to go through two stretches today or two mobilization techniques uh, combined with the stretches. The first one is a little bit of a golfer stretch and we're going to get into the loading phase of a golf swing. So Melissa, if you can just bring your feet shoulder width apart. Um, grab one hand onto one bar, one hand up to that bar. So if somebody has a pelvic rotational problem, for instance, what I would do is I'd come back there and just initiate that pelvis and try to get some of the rotation while they're in that specific golf swing or initiation of the loading phase in the golf swing. And I would just do this, or your therapist will just do this. Once you learn the movement, then you can do this on your own. We can also change the positioning of the hands depending on the person's height or the person's mobility. And we can bring this a little bit lower and then we can work in through this range and restore their movement there. On the reverse side, we can also work on the eccentric part of the phase or the unloading part of the golf swing. And Melissa is gonna go through the other side of the swing and once she learns the movement, she can come and do it on her own and I can assess the pelvis and see how much it's rotating. As well as we can also assess the foot here and see if that's where the dysfunction is in your golf swing. Um, we can also look at the thoracic spine in this area and I can work here, in through the hip, in through the knee, depending on what, um, what we see as the professional assessing you or treating you in this position. The next stretch we're going to do is um, a runner stretch. So Melissa, if I can have you put the back leg on that hook over there and the front leg, keep it a little bit bent and good. And what she's going to start to do is we're going to work in all three planes of motion and stretch this part of the hip. The fibers of the hip flexor don't only go in one plane, they go in all three planes. So we gotta stretch all of those planes of motion. So the first one, Melissa, you're gonna go back. Good, and if there's too much happening down at the low back, we can just help her out and I can just initiate through the spine, sorry, through the hip, and she should feel a stretch in through here. Then we're gonna go into the other plane of motion and side flex. So Melissa, if I can have you side flex to the left, and I can just help initiate that through this range in through here. She can hold on as well, which allows for that controlled movement we spoke about. We're gonna go to the other side, and I can again guide that hip, bend this knee, and I can know any dysfunctions I see as well. The next thing, if you can do a rotational turn for me, good, keep this knee bent a little bit. And I can just again help guide the pelvis because this is what I'm trying to focus on. She can hold on nice and tight and really focus on where my hands are and through the other side. Good, bend this knee, good. And again, I can just help that. If I see there's good range of motion here, I can also again work up in the thoracic spine. Part B of this stretch would be to actually have her face the other way and that's the other part of the running stride that uh, we'll show you next. So the second part of the running stretch is the other part of the actual running stride. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna guide Melissa again through her pelvis in what we call the sagittal plane. Okay, and if I see she's leaning back too much, I can always put my hand 
in a specific position and initiate the pelvis first so she knows what movement I'm talking about. Can I have you lean to the side for me? So then I can guide her hip this way in what we call the frontal plane and get some movement back in through this plane. Melissa, can you go to the other side now? And then guide her through this plane. And she should get a good stretch in through there. And then I can guide her back into this motion. The next and the last is in the transverse plane, which is the rotational movement of the stretch. Can I get you to rotate to the left, Melissa? So we're gonna rotate her through the left, and if I see it's not really happening, I can always come down to her leg and help initiate that movement in through her leg. So she can get a good stretch in all those fibers of the hip flexor. And let's go to the other side. And again, right in through here. And if I see there's a restriction up at the top, I can always guide her through the top as well, through the bottom, in through the leg, or in through the foot. It's also a good assessment tool to see where the dysfunction is down the chain. To book an appointment or to find out more about the True Stretch, you can visit our website at www.athletescare.com.